Errol Spence coming back, sending warning shots to 154 and 160, like, bow, you know what I'm talking about? Not to mention, he's saying 154 and 160 on notice. Guess who's fighting uh, this weekend? Well, today, actually. Danny Garcia versus Arizona Lara. And Danny Garcia, he's already beat before, you know what I'm saying? Post accident. If I tell you I'm good, probably you will say I'm post. But if I tell you I'm no good, you know one line. <laughs> Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG, and praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house, man. We just enjoying this Saturday morning, man. You know, I'm about to get the boys the bath. You know what I'm saying? Kimba and Bandit. You know, they don't like that, but they like it at the same time. They go, they go Kimba right there. See, he ready. He ready spaghetti. Oh, Lord. My camera enough flipped down. But yeah, man. So, um... Yeah, I want to talk to y'all about um, Errol Spence, man. We got some news from Errol Spence, you know. Uh, <laughs> he had dropped a bomb on, on on us, you know. He said, hey, man, he, he sent us some warning shots to 154 and 160 pound division. Yes, junior middleweight and middleweight, man. He said, hey, I'm coming for y'all, man. He definitely sent this message here. Somebody is coming, man. Come on, let's go. Yeah. Uh, 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 showing um, Omar. <laughs> Walking through the hood with the shoddy You know what I'm saying? Ready to catch a body and That's what Aero Spence is saying, man Now, do I believe him? Man, yeah, of course You know, I'm excited And I'm, I'm, I'm definitely anticipating his, uh, his his comeback, you know uh, A lot of people are You know, uh, we, we're interested to see how he's going to bounce back Not only from his sabbatical, a long layoff, right? He's also obviously coming off the loss and it was a very brutal loss his first loss that was stoppage you know his, his first and only loss and it was in brutal fashion you know what i'm saying most dominant fashion by terrence bud crawford so he has a lot of questions to answer a lot of demons to conquer and we'll see if he can do it man and you know he's a consummate professional uh, a, a great champion uh, all-time great fighter whether you like him or not you got to admit that and he, he doesn't take no tune-ups you know he's notorious for not taking tune-ups i personally believe this is the perfect time to take a tune-up you know saying coming off of what he just came off of but you know we know no one else spends he's not going to we we're anticipating that he hops right into the uh, a title fight with Sebastian Fedora. We'll see how that goes, man. There hasn't been any date. There hasn't been a date finalized yet, but you know, I'm hoping we'll get some news on that soon. Some definitive, real news instead of all this speculation. You know. Um, so I'm looking forward to that. And if he comes back and fights somebody else, I'll be cool with that too. Because you know if he goes to 160, he's going to be looking at Janabek. You know what I'm talking about? Carlos Adamas and all the rest of the champions. You know, just like at 154, he's looking at Fedora and, and, and the winner of Tim Zhu and Bakram Murtazali and maybe even Terrence Crawford. So I like these warning shots. I like that he's ambitious still. He still has that hunger. And I've, I've been seeing him uh, working out as well. So... Uh, I'll be anticipating this comeback, and I like the fact that he's putting everybody on notice, and at least lets us know that he's coming back and he has it on his mind now. Um, uh, so, speaking of his imminent return, it's still up in the air who's he's going to who's going to be his trainer. You know, unless him and D DJ Derek James are reconciled um, after their court issues, you know, unless they reconcile, then er Errol Spence, EJ is going to need a new trainer, right? So, you know, I've always been a, a a huge proponent for him going to Robert Garcia. You know, Robert Garcia to be is a legendary trainer uh, to everybody should be a, a uh, legendary trainer man has a whole bunch of champions from Abner Morris to his brother Mikey Garcia to most recently El Rayo Valenzuela you know he has a lot of champions that he's trained and you know Errol Spence B from Texas you know Robert Garcia he has had a facility a boxing academy in in Texas you know uh, as far as I'm uh, as far as my understanding goes is, is, is currently closed but he still has his um his gym in Oxnard and you know he still frequents Texas you know what I'm saying so I think that'd be a good pairing. We'll see how it goes. Maybe, maybe like I said, they'll do some reconciliation between Errol Spence and Derrick James. Uh, but if not, you can go with Robert Garcia. I think that's a good option. I mean, I'm, I'm sure that they'll make the right decision. You know, he has he has a Errol Spence. Despite his last performance, he's had a very successful career. Like I say, he's an all time great when it's all said and done. We just want to see him come back strong and formidable as we're accustomed to see him. You know, what I'm saying post post car accident as much as he can. And uh, yeah, man. And and not to mention, he's saying 154 and 160 on notice. Guess who's fighting? Uh, this weekend, or well, today, actually, Danny Garcia versus Arizona Lara, and Danny Garcia, he's already beat before, you know what I'm saying, post-accident, so I know he's looking at that like, hey, if Danny Garcia wins, he, he snatches a championship, then, you know, that might be food, you know what I'm talking about, and the shark go eat, you big fish, you know what I'm talking about, so we'll see how it goes, man, and uh, I, I fully anticipate Arizona Lara to win, though, but I think that's the best match on the card, on the Canelo and Berlanga card, I think the best match is Garcia and Arizona Lara from a competitive standpoint, you know, I think this is a favorites card as well, I think, uh, uh, um, I think Caleb Plant's gonna uh, return from his long layoff. Um, the last time we seen him was a year and a half ago against David Benavidez, El Monstro, uh, in March, and he, and he lost that in a very competitive fight, but 
he started getting uh, worn down towards the end. So I think he's going to come back and beat the undefeated uh, Trevor McCumbie. I think uh, Roly Romero is going to come back and beat Emmanuel Jaimes. I think uh, Stephen Fultz is going to come back and beat uh, Carlos Castro. Uh, and these are all favorites, right? And then Arizlandi Lara, I think this is the most toss up, the most 50 50 fight between him and Danny Garcia. Uh, Arizlandi Lara is a favorite for the betting odds, but, you know, Danny Garcia is a more popular fighter. So I'm leaning towards uh, Arizlandi Lara. And of course, we got Cinnamon versus Belonga. I got Cinnamon winning all day on Berlanga, but we'll see, man. But yeah, Errol Spence coming back, sending warning shots to 154, 160, like, bow, you know what I'm talking about? Appreciate y'all rocking me as always. Remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. Hey, and the doctor's out. Peace. I'm gonna go feed, I'm gonna go bathe these dirty dogs. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.